hello lovelies welcome back to my channel if this is your first time i'm winnie and this is where i share my life experiences i'm a student nurse currently studying in the united kingdom and grandma is in town say hello grandma hello how are you <laughs> So today, Grandma will be sharing her experience of culture shock whilst in the UK. She's been here for a couple of days, but she's going to tell us how she's finding the whole place, what looks different to her, what she likes, and what she doesn't like while she's making my hair into cornrow. And it is currently summer, and the weather is wonderful, except very hot, like it's really, really hot. So I decided to take out the crochet I had on just so I can have air touch my scalp. So, Grandma, are you ready to share with us? Yeah, I'm ready. So, let's start with the weather. How have you found the weather so far? Weather here is terrible. You know, the weather here, I don't understand it. Like, when it is afternoon, you don't know when it is afternoon. <laughs> when it is morning, you don't know what is what, when it is morning, unless you check your time. Because the weather just bright. Like one day I was I, I was at in the parlor watching television. I don't know that it's up to eleven o'clock in the night. But the weather is so bright that you will never know that the time have gone far like that. Okay, so Grandma. That Are you enjoying the summer? It's quite hot. Compare it to Nigeria. Is it as hot as it is in Nigeria now? Or will you say it's hotter here now? It's hotter here. Hotter, really? Yes, it's really wow. hotter here. The way the sun shines so, so bright. Sometimes in Nigeria here, when the sun comes like that, it will calm down a bit. But here, the thing, whether maybe because there is no tree covering the place or something like that, it's so bright. You cannot even look up. Okay. So that's how it is. So let's talk about the social life here have you been able to make friends how do you find it going on the street you cannot even make friends because everybody <laughs> everybody here that is they don't no need of making friends because everybody mind your business hmm. when you are moving on the way you move like say you are going to walk everybody bing 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 they are serious mindedness they don't care they don't look at you. even when they laugh at you the laugh will don't reach really stomach you know when you see somebody friend you cannot make friends hmm. because the, nobody the, nobody can visit you unless by invitation so everybody mind your business everywhere calm everywhere very calm hmm. so so the place i, so I love it you because love the, it. because of the way the, the place the way that is and the, the way people behave here not that you just say uh, wake up in nigeria you just go and visit person without even him Calling the person that you are calling, you are coming. You just mm -hmm. surprisingly see somebody knocking at your door. But here it's not like that at all. Okay. In yeah. terms of noise, is it too quiet for you? Is it noisy? Where the, How are you finding it? The noise here is okay because nobody disturb you. Nobody use music. Nobody use generator to disturb <laughs> the the neighbors. You see other place, other country like Nigeria. You see somebody. They, 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 it's that time they will show that they have money. You see somebody put generator Bless you, love. Bless from you. morning to night. Big, 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 big. If you don't care whether you are disturbing other your neighbors or not with music, they say <laughs> this and that. They are some even block roads say they are doing party, but yeah, nothing like that. Everywhere free, no, nothing like hold up. Everywhere you... very smooth. Do you understand the British accent? Like when they talk, <laughs> uh, I did. Do you find I'm yet to learn it because there are some, some of them, <laughs> some of them you manage to hear some, some uh, what you hear. <laughs> so sometimes I cannot even pick one thing. Then sometimes <laughs> some talk you will really get one or two things understand i'm mean, yet yeah, maybe i'm just new maybe after some time i get to know when you start speaking the, speaking your father. Your, father, <laughs> your father your father i tell your father you resemble <laughs> your mother 
<laughs> nah, you are fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm here to learn it. Okay, Grava, let me ask you one question. Now, yeah. in terms of food, yeah. comparing the food here to what we have, the markets, the environment, like we've gone shopping. Yeah. So how do you find the way the market the is? The market here is very excellent. Wow. Because you see things you want to buy. We package, we covering up. You cannot even touch. Like see now here Nigeria. I'm used Nigeria because Nigeria is the place I live and I know exactly what is happening there. You see, you want to go and buy meat like in Nigeria. They you see everybody open it up. Fly with first of all, perch on <laughs> all of them. And even apart from fly, you see somebody coming to buy, he will touch, touch this one. Maybe at the end, you will not even buy anyone. She will touch and touch and touch and go. You will not buy it. Another person come and touch and touch. But here, you can know you don't have that accent to touch. Because everything is way packet. So when you, whenever you want to buy something, you just go to the to the market there, pick what I want to buy, mm. waste seed. Do you price so, things in the market? Yeah, here? you can you don't have the time to price. The only That's, thing that is, by pricing I mean bargain. No, 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 no. You can price. never never but how can you bargain when you see the the price on the label there, they have already used the label to put the price. The only thing say if you like, if you check the label, you like it's something you will you are be able to afford, you buy it. If you cannot afford it, you drop it because nobody will look at you nobody yeah. and there camera is all over it's not something you go and steal one thing another because immediately you steal it they immediately there they will catch you so they cannot price no bargaining or uh, how much will you give me is it not this price is it not this one no 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 it's not like nothing okay. like that that's the different what about the transport system yeah, like the transport system there is a, uh, is it orderly how is it yeah, the transport system there is orderly because you you they make it the way you will afford huh. if you can enter taxi because i noticed that the taxi here is uh, more costly than the bus if you can afford the taxi you enter the taxi then you ent uh, if it is something uh, you enter the bus you enter the bus and the bus is this way there is a place bus stop you will there and wait for your bus once mm. they come everybody will enter and another thing again that really really baffled me is the way you buy some certain things you you try to put online what you want mm. before tell them when you want it before you look at it they will come and really deliver it for you so immediately so and you when you when you pay online then you will pay online then they will deliver you even when they bring the something whether so far they ring the bell when they ring the bell they just throw it for you and hey, hello 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 they give it to you and they leave left so that system is not here in Nigeria like that. So okay. Yeah. Is there any other thing that you notice here, like traffic lights? What What else have you noticed going out? At least you've gone out a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, tra like traffic have you lights. Have noticed about Like movements? traffic lights, you see the movement, the way move the people, because here they respect everybody. Everybody are equal, the way I look at it. Everybody mm. are equal, because if even you are moving without your car, without a car, you will see that when there is a place you will reach like this, there's a button you will press. Immediately you press the all the motor from left and right will stop for you and you move mm -hmm. majestically and you pass. Mm -hmm. When you get a place again, there's a button there, you press and move. It's not running up and down like Nigeria, you want to cross, you jump, or sometimes mm -hmm. when you want to cross, if one car will stop for you. You don't know that another one is coming at the other corner. Before you look <laughs> at it, they will brush you down. So they don't have respect and when they brush you down they will start accusing you you don't know who you don't look road can't you look road you mad is that but here it's not like that mm. so okay is there any other thing you notice about the uk that is quite shocking to you comparing uh, it with nigeria there's no other thing that's really shocked me a lot like that but i feel that everything is orderly Mm. everything here is orderly mm. so that's the way i look at it they are really civilized people and they are really developed mm. so nigeria is here to develop because there are some certain things we don't normally do don't normally do that in uk here you do it mm. very perfectly okay so,
Thank you, Grandma, for sharing your experience with us. Thank you. So, guys, you've heard it from Grandma. She's told us those things that that were quite shocking to her on her arrival to United Kingdom. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that now would be a good time for you to click on the subscribe button. Please like, please share, and please comment on this video. So, Grandma is making my hair into cornrows, and this is what I i've used to detangle my hair it is the sheer moisture detangler so my hair is 4c it's unrelaxed hair so to make it manageable i apply the detangler after washing to help me comb and minimize hair loss i've also got the sheer moisture strengthen and restore styling lotion so these are both lotions here this is the detangler this is the styling lotion and i have got my black jamaican castor oil the holy grail um, which is good for growing out your edges so i'll be applying that once she's done to my edges and hope that a miracle happens and this one from nigeria virgin hair fertilizer i like it because it has this menthol effect on the hair i'm not sure if it's quite appropriate for fussy hair but i just like that feel of mentor on my scalp so i'll be applying this also so just stay with us while grandma weaves the hair yeah. so grandma who taught you how to make hair? well it's uh, nobody i just watch people doing it because when my children they are so I small i try to practice it because as a mother, you're supposed to know how to hold your, your child hair. Okay. So it's something that I learned without going to saloon or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Because usually people that I know that know how to do hair, they usually go to boarding school. Yeah. Most of them I know is they tell you that they went to yeah. boarding school. Yeah, That's where they learned how to make Yes. Hair. You learn it too. You learn it when you see other people doing it. Mm -hmm. Not that they will go there and say, yeah, I want to practice. You know, there's a difference between when you pay money to learn something yeah. and when you put eye to maybe it's people doing it. Mm -hmm. You want to learn it. You take style mm -hmm. to learn it. Because if you say you want to, pay, the person that's doing it will say you should pay money. Mm -hmm. But when you just pretend like, say, you are just watching, mm -hmm. but the person will not know that you are learning too. If mm -hmm. you are that kind of person that learn very fast, you'll be able to learn it immediately. Mm -hmm. So, yeah without going to pay money for learning it. Especially, I do it especially okay. because of my children. Okay. Okay, Grandma. Thank you. Thank you very so much. we are making it big, big now. Yeah, Grandma making it big so that it will, you will not sit for too, too long. long. Yeah. Yes. You will not sit too long. That's why I'm doing it. If I want to really do it small, small, we do it perfectly and neat. So uh, this one but, is just big, big, big. Just do it so that you'll be able to wear your wig and go wherever you're ah, you going we, to. Bless you. Wig is the way. Yeah. <laughs> wig, I don't even know how you manage this your own because heat. Um, the I heat do it. Here. I do ah. it quite all right just because I'm traveling. If I really am at home, I wear a wig. Once I just come reach house, I pull it immediately. Sometimes mm -hmm. I used to pour water on it because... As an old woman, it's not every time you do something on your head. Sometimes you want your head to to cool down. Mm, I'm poor mm -hmm. cold. I miss mm -hmm. that cold water. Yeah, since I came water. to UK, I've not poured cold water. Uh -huh. on my body. So when you do it, even like in this, this summer, yeah. I've, I don't even have the mind yes. to pour cold water on my body. Because when you wash, uh, put cold water, your hair will you, you your head will cool down. Mm. Your head will cool down. That's why sometimes I try to do it lose it mm. and leave it for a while because it's not good by every time you start doing your hair mm. doing it sometimes your hair is supposed to rest too yeah that's true yeah especially for people like us that are managing front hair mm, your, 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 your front hair is okay you, you have sure? not seen you have not seen somebody okay. you have not ah. seen somebody that don't have front hair at all yeah, yeah, i'm still thinking my own needs to Mm -hmm. I, sure. I, it still needs That's to grow nothing happened to your front hair ah. your front hair is okay yeah just encouraging you yeah to have a nice yes. hair ah. very thick and very rich very ah. heady if you ah. see the hair that is not heady you will not talk <laughs> as you are doing yourself the thing will be flying out 
Oh. But some people, they even do weaving. Uh. The, the, the weaving, we just cut off from the head. Cut off from uh, the head. Because the there's no... Not because of their, the, the, the head they use for it, very little. Uh. Uh -huh. That's true. So that's how it is. That's true. So guys, let me know what your experience is upon arrival to the United Kingdom. Or maybe, have you had any culture shock going to a new place before? If you don't mind, can you share in the comment section? So this is us saying bye for now. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. So I'm going to be sharing some kind of content from now on. Like I explained earlier, I just had a baby. So I'm going to be sharing my life as it is now my experience during labor what they told us versus what i saw <laughs> yes the labor is the food that nobody nobody will see. tell you nobody you will use your and give you use you. your eye to only you see. will cook the food hey. and only you mm. will know how the food tastes ah <laughs> sometimes the what you hear is not what you see i'm telling some you some people will tell you that ah when i have my first child or when i have my second child i didn't feel any pain eh? the other thing just i just vomit it like uh, uh, when you are vomiting something that you eat so then until when you reach the time you that see for and, yourself and it's something that every woman will like to experience mm, that's and true. it's something that brings joy mm. to you particular when you're breastfeeding the child mm. so labor is something else so guys just stay tuned for my next video i'm going to be sharing what my birth experience was what they told me versus what i saw and grandma is going to be shedding some more lights or what her experience is tips from grandma's wisdom yes, yes. <laughs> so guys so guys Make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. Click on the subscribe button, like, share, comment. And until we meet again, guys, this is me saying, remember, bless, keep winning and enjoying life. And I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, say bye. bye to grandma. <laughs> from grandma. Bye to grandma. Bye from grandma. From grandma. <laughs>